school. Kids have been going to school for eons, but you still need the word. It always amazes me how people, when they want to do something, they'll stay up all night long. When they're trying to get a degree, they'll study all night long with bloodshot eyes and still go to work. But won't come to an hour Bible class. Back on up. Look at him looking at me, Holy Ghost. Lord, have mercy. God has a gift for you today. Through his spirit. It's a gift. I don't care what you've been told. I don't care where you come from. I've come to tell you that this takeover that is going to take place, I believe it's going to take place. It's a gift. You can't work for it. You can't toil for it. It was given way back before you was ever thought about. The Bible says in Luke chapter 12 verse 32, Fear not, little flock, for it's your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Romans 14 and 17 says, For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but it's joy, righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. If you're looking for peace today, it's in the Holy Ghost. If you're looking for joy today, it's in the Holy Ghost. We need a Holy Ghost takeover. There's so many people worried and in pain and dealing with so much stuff. You need the Holy Ghost to take over. Lord, if the Holy Ghost take over, you won't be you won't be going bald. Come on. If the Holy Ghost take over, you won't be crying at night. If the Holy Ghost take over, you know not to worry about it and go to sleep without all that damn old medicine. I see you sleeping pills. Uh-oh. Lord. I see him. He come out here. I see him. Lord, I see him. Because you can't sleep at night because you're worried. But righteousness, peace, and joy is in the Holy Ghost. Joel 2, come on, 28 and 30 said after that. Mm -hmm. That's what it said in the message Bible. So after that means, ooh, y'all better put your seatbelt on. But this one. After that means something took place before. Now if you read Joel chapter 2, beginning at the first verse, there is a warning message that is blown because the people are in trouble. Lord, have mercy. The, God tells the prophet, say, listen, blow the trumpet and sound the alarm because there's an army coming. And when this army comes, uh, destruction is coming. Devastation is coming. No one will be able to get away from it. Come on. Uh, it, and it's going to be a sudden, sudden, sudden overtake. Anybody ever felt like you've been overtaken suddenly? Mm, mm, mm. He says the day of judgment is coming, and the sound of this army is like horses, like thunder, like a roaring wildfire. And this army is invincible, and when people see it, there is panic, panic and pandemonium, and that nothing will be able to stop them, and that the soldiers in this army have orders to do nothing but to destroy to destroy and spare no one. Come on. But he gives the people a remedy and say, won't you come back to me? Come on. Come back to the Lord. Uh-oh. What that tells me is that the people he was talking to was once acquainted with God, but something got in the way. I want to tell you that it is possible for us to be sitting right in the house of God and something to get in the way. Something to get in the way. There are three classes of people I thought about when I thought about this. There's the, the first that we all know is that's the completely backslidden. That's those who came in, got a relationship, knew, was on fire, and for some reason they don't, they're not even around no more. They don't even come to church. Lord, have mercy. They know where, right? How many people know people in a completely backslidden state? Y'all know everybody knows somebody, right? Then there's the one that a lot of us ain't going to admit, that we all have one foot in and one foot out. Oh, the spit stragglers, uh, meaning I'll come to church when it's good, come on, and I'm going to be a part of because I know that there's a God, and I know I don't really want to go to hell, but I'm not really committed. Uh, and if something else comes up that's more important than what, than what I feel I should be doing, I'm going to do what I feel is important. Come on, uh, spit stragglers, lukewarm saints. Lord, have mercy. Oh, and then there's the worst kind of person. Talk to us. I hope this ain't you. Come on here, Lord. Not you, but you. 
The one that's in church, playing the instruments, singing on the praise team, ushering, working the sound, rebuking evil, praying, preaching, prophesying, being an intercessory prayer warrior, but they've lost their love for God.